So what was Michael Flynn and Jenny Thomas's involvement in planning Donald Trump's coup attempt or the possibility of planning? Check it out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And I, I just put this out as a question. Um, what I heard this morning, you know, simple, straightforward. Um, I heard Major General William J. Walker, who is in charge of the D.C. National Guard, say that he was on a phone call with a bunch of people at the Pentagon and they said, and two of them said that it wouldn't be, he said, he said the top, two top army generals, Lieutenant General Will, uh, Walter E. Piatt, P-I-A-T-T, and Lieutenant General Charles Flynn, the brother of Michael Flynn, Here's, here's exactly what he said. I find you know, the Washington Post just published part of his testimony. Quote, they both said it wouldn't be in their best military advice to advise the Secretary of the Army to have uniformed guard members at the Capitol during the election confirmation, explaining that he, like officials on the call from the D.C. government and the Capitol Police, were frustrated by those comments. Now, he doesn't, he, in this article in the Washington Post, it doesn't go on to say that Hey, let me just do a search on the word optics. Yeah, here we are. Uh, Walker, who was added to the slate of witnesses only this week, said top Army generals, Lieutenant General Walter Piott and Lieutenant General Charles Flynn, the brother of former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, expressed concerns about the optics of sending the Guard to the Capitol on the afternoon of the riot. And then later in the testimony... And I, it's not, I, I'm not finding it here in this Washington Post story, so I can't tell you which person said it, but one of the witnesses kind of jumped in and said, Lieutenant General Walter Piott uh, told me, and once it made clear here, and I, again, I'm paraphrasing from memory, uh, that he was not concerned about the optics, that was not his phrase, which leaves Charles Flynn, Mike Flynn's brother. Mike Flynn, the QAnon guy, the guy who swore loyalty to QAnon on a YouTube video, who took the QAnon oath. Mike Flynn, the guy who advised Donald Trump that he should, that he should uh, have the military federalize Georgia and Wisconsin and Michigan and, and Pennsylvania and, and Arizona and shut down their ability to count their votes and have the military supervise another election in those states a few months down the road. That was General Flynn's explicit, explicit suggestion to Donald Trump. And here's his brother, while we're all watching on television as the Capitol is being stormed. It's not like this guy didn't know what was going on. While we're watching on television, as the Capitol is being stormed, the brother of Mike Flynn is on this phone call telling the, the, the general in charge of the National Guard, sorry, wouldn't look good. Bad optics, uh, General Walker. I'm sorry. It, would just, it just would be bad optics. We cannot, we cannot do that. I mean, tell me what I'm missing here. This seems like a, like, it, 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 this sounds like a conspiracy. I, mean, I don't know how to say it other than that. It sounds, it, it, this is increasingly looking to me like people around Donald Trump and perhaps Donald Trump himself, in the weeks after he lost the election, and started telling his big lie that he actually won the election and it was stolen from him by corrupt officials like Brad Raffsenperger, the Republican Secretary of State of Georgia. When he started telling these lies, they set this date, January 6th, the date that Congress was going to certify the election, as the day that the last chance to blow this thing up. And Trump tweeted out, hey, come to, come, to, come to D.C. on January 6th. He raised the prices at the Trump Hotel dramatically. It was like 5000 bucks for the last room they had. Raised the, raised the room rates. They knew a crowd was coming. Ginny Thomas, the wife of, of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, and her group put on this rally. 
and Trump and, and Roger Stone and his buddies basically hijacked it into a Save the Steel, Ali Alexander and all these other guys, into a Save the Steel rally. And Trump said, I'm going to go with you. We're going to march to the Capitol. And surprise, surprise, they march to the Capitol and take it over. And it's not like this was done in secret. But you have General Flynn's brother refusing to advise the Secretary of Defense and the Secretary of the Army that they should send the National Guard now while there's still a chance that Pelosi and, Flint and, uh, and, and Pence could be murdered and the election could then be thrown to the House of Representatives where Donald Trump would win. I mean, this I, I think we're seeing the skeleton of the coup here and it's so, it, it, I mean, it's just so obvious to me. What am I missing? Or are you coming to the same conclusion?